Hey guys, got a quick tip for you today. Uh, I may have shown you guys this particular build that I did uh, a few months ago. And why I spaced it this way. It was mainly because I was working exclusively with 12 inch patch cables. And I had to be able to reach the farthest one. And so as things got closer together, you wound up with this, you know, this bunch of cables sticking out and wind up to the point where let me see if I can show this if you try to close the door it uh, it bumps into the uh, bumps into the cables I actually wound up putting magnetic um, uh, uh, latches on these guys just so it would hold the door closed so I've got a way around this it's going to involve using both 12 inch and 6 inch patch cables but and I've, I've talked about this before but let me show it to you in the real world so uh, give me a second and I'm going to rearrange this guy so here is the solution. So the main thing is I broke the the 24 port switch into an upper and lower run. So all of the upper run go in this direction towards this half of the 24 patch panel and the other 12, well what's left of them anyways, uh, go in this direction. And yeah, there's a couple of, you know, exceptions here. This is a dead port, and I think the main feed for the router comes in here, and things like that. But the idea here is that all of the cables on one side all go in one to one distance away. Instead of trying to adhere to the port numbers and matching them to the patch panel numbers, forget that. Now I have even distances significantly between them, and now You'll notice that the door just closes fine, not, uh, not interfering, I hope I saw that. But uh, yeah, this is a simple little tip and uh, I strongly recommend it, keep them nice and neat. Of course I'll you know, straighten these guys out, but I think you get the idea.